Thank you for tuning in to Instrumental Intel. I am your host, music producer, Chick with Beats, and I got a show lined up for you filled with goodies. But before I even get into that, I'd like to give a super huge shout out to my home station, Grander Radio out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. So today I've got music producer Deep Spawn Logic joining me. We're going to talk about passionate productions and many other things. And of course, there's going to be music industry news and beats produced by me. So without Without any further ado, let's go.
we're back. I'm your host, music producer, Chick with Beats, and today we've got some music news story highlights, or what I like to call the music biz brief, that can impact your music career. First up, music streaming services are pushing back against a new Canadian regulation that requires them to allocate 5% of their Canadian revenue to support local content creation. So the Digital Media Association, which represents big players like Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, etc., call it a discriminatory tax. They argue that it could lead to higher subscription costs, and for independent artists, this rule means more funds that could be directed towards Canadian content and initiatives like Factor, Music Action, and potentially opening up more opportunities for local artists. So keep an eye on this if you're in or targeting the Canadian market. In another Spotify-related update, co-founder Martin Lawrenson plans to sell $81.5 million worth of shares. So this comes after a significant rise in Spotify's stock. Despite the ongoing legal and royalty issues, Spotify has reported its largest quarterly profit in Q1 2024. So while this might seem like good news for Spotify's financial health, it's actually kind of a mixed bag for independent artists. The quote-unquote cost-saving measures that led to these profits often involve cutting down on artist payouts. So while investors might be happy, it's kind of a reminder for artists to make sure that you're diversifying your income stream and not relying just on Spotify for revenue. Speaking of Spotify, they've launched a new feature that's like having wrapped all year round. So the My Spotify campaign gives users frequent insights into their listening habits with features like Daylist, DJ Mix, Blend, and Daily Mix. This is a fantastic tool for independent artists to understand their audience's listening patterns a little more regularly and tailor your content accordingly. Plus, it's available to all users, not just premium subscribers, which makes it easier for more people to participate. All right, over at Apple Music, there's two new features in iOS 18 that are kind of flying under the radar but are still worth noting. Music Haptics uses the Taptic engine to provide synchronized taps and vibrations with the music, enhancing the experience for everyone, especially those who are deaf or hard of hearing. SharePlay now lets non-subscribers contribute to shared playback cues, making group listening sessions even more inclusive. So these updates kind of enhance the user experience and accessibility, which broadens your potential audience. Now let's talk about the Black Keys, who recently parted ways with their managers after a canceled tour. High ticket prices and increased fan selectivity due to negative press and the whole antitrust lawsuit against Ticketmaster and Live Nation are contributing factors as well. So for independent artists, this kind of underscores the importance of transparent and reliable management, especially in turbulent times. So it's a reminder to kind of choose your team wisely and stay adaptable. In related festival news, organizers of the canceled Biscom Festival in Switzerland are offering ticket holders passes to other festivals instead of refunds. So this decision was made due to economic challenges and slow ticket sales. So if you're an artist, it's crucial to understand the economic climate and fan behavior, especially when planning tours or festival appearances. Flexibility and backup plans are key. Next, Elk Live, a music live streaming platform, is shutting down this month due to financial challenges. So despite their innovative technology for remote collaboration, they couldn't sustain the project. So, you know, this kind of shows and goes along with some of the other stories where we've talked about the ongoing financial hurdles in the music tech space. So for independent artists, again, you know, the importance of diversifying and being aware of alternatives in case some of these platforms do go down. Of course, there's always the possibility that someone might step in and invest. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, a good rule of thumb is just kind of make sure that your ways to get your music heard won't fail because you've placed everything in one platform. Hey, right, exciting news from Twitch. They've signed licensing deals with major labels like Sony, Universal, and Warner for DJ Live streams. So this agreement allows DJs to legally stream music, providing promotional opportunities as a fair revenue split. So if you're a DJ that performs live sets, this is a fantastic opportunity to reach a broader audience legally and potentially earn more from your streams. Warner Music Group is making strategic moves by hiring Michael Ryan Southern from Goldman Sachs to lead global M&A activities. So this indicates that Warner's intending to expand through acquisitions and for independent artists, this could mean more opportunities as Warner's looking to diversify and enhance its offerings. It'll potentially provide more resources and support for a wider range of artists. 
Breaker, a Nasdaq startup, aims to democratize music marketing with its AI-driven platform. By connecting artists directly with influencers, Breaker bypasses the traditional agencies and their high fees. So this platform can help you target your audience more precisely and analyze past campaigns to optimize future ones. It's a powerful tool for independent artists looking to maximize their marketing efforts without breaking the bank. And finally, this is just something that's good to know. The Recording Academy is expanding into Africa and the Middle East. They're offering educational programs, training, and content celebrating regional music. So they're partnering with the ministries of culture in several countries, and they're focusing on markets like Kenya, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, and more. So this expansion is a huge win for independent artists in these regions because it provides more visibility and opportunities to showcase their talent on a global stage. So if you're in those areas, be on the lookout for different opportunities that may come. All right, that's all for today's Music Biz Brief on Instrumental Intel. I'm going to take a quick pause for the cause, so stick around for more insights and tips as my special guest, music producer Deep Spawn Logic, joins me to discuss passionate productions and more. Keep it locked.
producer Triple Beats, and you're listening to my podcast, Instrumental Intel. I'm a chick with beats, multi-genre music producer and strategist to indie artists and labels. Visit achickwithbeats.com for resources for artists and instrumentals in various genres available for songs, vlogs, blogs, podcasts, themes, TV, film, commercials, and more. Once again, that's achickwithbeats.com. That's A-C-H-I-C-K-W-I-T-B-E-A-T-Z.com. Let's make something happen. All right, thank you so much for tuning in to Instrumental Intel. I am your host, music producer, Chick with Beats, and I am excited, thrilled, and delighted to announce that as my special guest, I have music producer and artist Deep Spawn Logic in the virtual building. How are you doing? I am good. I am good. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? Great, great. So, you know, some people who are listening may know that you've been a guest on Music Marvels before, but now that it's your first time on Instrumental Intel, if you could just do an introduction, you know, let people know a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and what pulled you into music. Sure. Um, I am Deep Spawn Logic. I am a jazz fusion artist and music producer, and I am also the host and creator of Artist Spotlight Sunday. Um, I'm currently in this, living in the state of New Jersey. I'm, I'm originally from New York, from Brooklyn, New York, um, but I've spent a lot of my life in New Jersey, so that's where I'm at right now. And um, music was something that 
I started in 2020 after a bout of depression. You know, I had some close loved ones uh, pass and I was in not a good place. And so uh, my husband introduced me to a couple of things and um, I just, you know, started dabbling in, in creating because it, it helped me focus on uh, something else other than what was going on. And um, from from just the first song I created, you know, I was just hooked, you know, and I, I really found something that I really, really love to do and it, it hadn't stopped yet. So for the past four years, I've been uh, creating, producing and releasing music. So it's become something that I've really, really enjoyed doing. Okay, okay. Well, you know, there's so many things to be said about producing music. Because one, you get to the, the inspiration from doing the music yourself and then being able to inspire other artists to work with. And mm -hmm. we know you've got a lot of collaborations that you've done. Um, could you maybe offer any advice as far as to um, any independent artists out there listening who don't really know how to go about approaching others for collaborations but what type of advice do you have as far as seeking collaborators or you know letting them come to you like how do you choose um in all in all honesty i've been very lucky um like i have not um i should say collaborated with anyone i don't know or am comfortable with um, I, I'm still new, so it's, it's, it's more of a comfort thing for me. And I was very, um, scared to venture outside of the people I know. My husband, for those who don't know, my husband is a musician, so we do have other musician friends. So it was, um, being that they were ex as excited to, and in, in what I was doing, um, it was very, um, I was comfortable going to them, asking them to do something with me. Like when I had Trueborn and, uh, who's a great guitar player and my husband who plays the drums, they, uh, featured on my, uh, when one door closes EP, you know, um, I have a couple collaborations coming up with a couple other artists, um, one with DJ Milk B, he's been on your show. Um, I have another one coming up soon with Trevor P, who's a music producer, an awesome music producer. Um, but I've also known both of them as, you know, on social media and stuff, but I've known them for a couple years, so I'm very comfortable. Um, what I would tell other intervention artists, um, I'm just getting comfortable, you know? Make sure you're, you're comfortable in your skin and you're comfortable in yourself so you can produce your best with someone else. You know, um, you don't want to always be having second thoughts. And it took me a long time to do someone outside of um, the ones that I'm doing now <clears throat> with DJ Milk D and Trevor P. It took me a while to even say yes to them because I didn't feel like I was there yet. You know, it had nothing to do with anything else. I just didn't feel comfortable at where I was at with what I was doing. I just felt that there was more needed. Was there more needed? Not necessarily. It was just me being comfortable in what I do and me being comfortable in my skin. Mm. So now that I am um, a lot more comfortable, um, I feel, you know, I feel uh, that collaborations are more possible. And I know that there will be a lot more. Um, so it's, I, I, I do just tell people to just make sure that you're comfortable with who you are and know who you are and know what you're bringing to the project. Um, and, and just be good with that, you know? So as long as you're in that space, you can definitely, um, feel confident in reaching out to anyone. It doesn't even matter. It, I, I don't think, I mean, at this point, the way I feel, I, I think I would feel comfortable reaching out to anyone if I had a thought of you know, collaborating with them, no matter who they were. Um, Cause my dad always said, you're either gonna get a yes or a no. It's a 50, 50 chance, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and it might be that one person that you never think would say yes, that will surprise you and say yes, you know? And you have to be comfortable enough not to come with your head cowered down. You have to be conf confident in, what, in your part and what you're bringing to the table, you know? So I, I would just tell independent artists, just, you know, know you and and be be good be good in that yeah that is excellent advice um you actually dropped multiple gems <laughs> answering <laughs> that one question yeah it was very helpful um you know i think a lot of times when people are starting off just like you said um there isn't really a whole lot of confidence there at least if you're actually good at what you're doing <laughs> mm -hmm. you know uh, I, I can't remember what 
uh, famous person that said like you know there's probably not any artist of value that doesn't have a little bit of doubt but you're right like once you get into it once you find your own sound because when we start off a lot of times we're kind of emulating you know what we've absorbed and it takes a while to find your own uh, voice if you will yeah yes. you know, that confidence that you have once you finally do it, it, it makes you walk different you, you yeah, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> it makes different. Yeah. Yeah. and you have no problem you have no problem popping it you know what i'm saying that's right. better than anybody else it just means that you know you put the work in and what you're doing and and what you do that you know that you're good at you're, you know if you look left and right you might be like uh uh you know what i'm saying you're gonna figure it out but in your lane, if you know your lane, there's nothing wrong with saying that you're confident in being in it. Yes, 100%. I love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, speaking about your creations and the things that you get into, um, you know, as a producer or even as you're creating, you know, complete concepts, what do you do to kind of get into that zone to be able to, you know, feel inspired? Um. I'm still learning about the zone. I, I, I know I get into it. Um, it. It still amazes me that that zone is there. <laughs> it's like, it's, it, you know, it's funny because me and a friend of mine was talking about this not too long ago because he, he asked me that, do you ever get to that place where nothing around you, it, it seems like there is no around you. You're just in that bubble and it's yours and you don't know anything outside of that while you're creating. And I'm just like, yes, I, I know it's there. I said, I don't know how I get there. I just know I'd be in it. And then when I come out of it, I feel like someone sucked all the energy out of me. <laughs> when you're in a deep sleep and somebody jumps you out of your sleep, <laughs> you know, and you're just like, where am I? What am I doing? You know, that that place is special. And it's, 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 I can't, I don't know what takes me there. Um, I just know it's a place that I need to be. It's a place mm -hmm. that has opened up for me that anytime I sit in that chair in the studio, the, the door is wide open and I'm able to sit and close my eyes and walk into that space. So mm -hmm. um, I have no explanation for it because um, it's not an experience. Um, some people have had know where it comes from because they've done it all their life, you know? Mm -hmm. This to me is a gift from God and it's a blessing because it, it was something, I feel like it was something that was put upon me for, because it was something that I needed. So everything that I do, I'm still in awe of. Everything that I feel while doing it, I'm still in awe of. Um, the ideas that I have, I don't know where they come from. I don't <laughs> know. You know, it, it amazes me also. And I, you know, it. I just take it and I just go with it. As long as it feels good, mm -hmm. um, I know that that God has instilled the thought in me. When when it's something is I've never thought of, and I just think of something, and it comes together so well. When the plan comes together so well, the thoughts come together so well, the notes come together so well. I just take it and run with it, and be like, "Yeah, this is what the good Lord gave me. Here you go." <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You know, okay. I, I don't, at this point, I don't need a reason. I don't need a why. I don't need a how. I just know it happens and I appreciate it and I make sure I don't waste it. Um, so, you know, what inspires me is, is, is that, is, is the not knowing and just being grateful that it does happen, you know, uh, that, that I'm able to do this, you know, it's, 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 I, I appreciate it so much. And someone asked me to, you know, I have, um, 13, 13 singles that I've released in about a little less than two years. Oh, wow. It's like, why do you keep releasing song after song after song? <laughs> Just song. <laughs> you don't give it a chance to do this. You don't get, and I said, you know what? I haven't had the chance. You know, there's people mm. who have had years and years and years to take the time and put out the, and to me, I'm like, you know, God gave me this and just as quickly as it came, I feel like it can just as quickly go away. Yeah. And I don't, I want to make sure that anything that's in between that is the best that I can do. And, and so I don't question anything, whatever comes to me and it feels right. And I know it's right. And when it comes together easy and it's the hardest thing I've ever done. I know I need to do it, yeah. you know, so yeah, it's, it's, that's basically what it is. Wow, that's beautiful because I, I personally am a firm believer 
that if you have um, an inclination to do something, if it's put in your heart to create it, if it's put in your heart to make it, that's because someone else needs to hear it. And so Mm -hmm. I know that everybody's got, you know, their timelines on when you're supposed to release stuff and, you know, the best way to milk this or that or the other. But yeah, if it's coming together exactly the same way that you said, you know, where it's hard, but it got it came together easy, then you know that that means that somebody out there needs it. So if you're holding on to it, waiting, trying to do it, you know, according to what other people say you're going to do, then whoever it is that's out there that needs that has to wait for it. So, no, I fully support everything you said. I'm a firm believer in that. If it's in your heart to do it, it's because someone else needs it. Just do it. Yep. Yeah. Just do it. And just put it out there. I can't wait. You know, if I was if I was still waiting for people to discover me, you know, and then you go look <laughs> up my name and my first release is still sitting there, yeah. you know, and I have and, and, and to know as a person to know I have all these other songs that's just sitting, but I'm waiting for you to just hear this first one. Right. You know, I, I'm just like, you know what? They're going to be there. And as people discover me, I do so much different stuff that. You know, you might come one day and you'd be like, yeah, I like a couple of the songs. And you might come another time and be like, oh, she done went left. I, you know, and then you come back and you like this. And you know, it's, I want you to be able to come and have a variety of stuff, not just me hoping you just still hear my first single. Yeah. You know, because it, it's just so much that I have. And, and, and another thing I don't, I do it, I, my, my, Mine is more fueled by passion and like I said, appreciation. So it's not about the the money. It's not about the money would be nice. I'm not gonna say <laughs> nothing. I don't want people to think please, right. listen, please listen to my music, stream my music, buy my music. But that's not the first thing I think of when I'm releasing the music. I you know, I I make music, like I said, it comes from a place of therapy. So it's for myself first. And I choose to release it and share it, hopefully, that someone gets from it what I got from it. Mm. You know, if you do, that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about how many people are going to hear it. It's about are the right people going to hear it? Is this song for you? Did you hear, you know what I'm saying? Did it do what it needed to do for you? Yes. You know, so I I think I I approach my, you know, the way I release my music and what I do with it a little differently than the, than, than the next musician or the next artist that's, that's really trying to, you know, escalate somewhere. And I'm, I'm not really trying to, you know, escalate anywhere every day in my life I am, but I mean, as far as a, a famous kind of thing, it's not a purpose of mine you know so you yeah. know everybody has their own purpose in life so i say you follow that and as long as you're good with it you just keep on going exactly i know you and i actually had a conversation on social media about that you know how people <laughs> like to give you advice and like oh yeah if you want this to happen that and they don't even know oh. exactly what it is that you're trying oh. to accomplish you know Gosh. like I stopped talking to people. I stopped talking. I'm like, I ain't asking nobody else nothing. Right. <laughs> this is like, they think that they know what you're striving for. And so that's what they're giving you their blueprint on, which is fine if that's what you're trying to do. But it's uh-huh. like, you haven't even asked what my goals are. How are you going to tell me how I need to reach them? There you go. Right? No, and it's I just know like what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Everything doesn't work for everybody. Even if, right. it, is, even if it is the same goals. You know That's what I'm saying? True. It's not necessarily the same path that you're taking to meet the same goal. That's you know, so, true. So, so it's still not going to be the same blueprint. Right. You know? And I'm just like, instinct and gut is everything. And you have to hold that up and just embrace it and embrace what you feel in your gut. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. It is because, yeah, I've been at this point recently, like where I'm kind of questioning some of the stuff that has become commonplace, like, you know, release dates on Fridays. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I had something. I was like, you know what? I want to put this out on a Tuesday. I miss those dates. You know, (laughs) there's no reason why you can't do things your own way, like at all. I I did that. You Speaking of the Friday thing, I did. Which song did I do that with? A recent song. And I don't really keep track of it, but it, yeah, I'm sitting there on my release demo. I know that morning my song released and I'm watching the Today Show. And I think Beyonce and Taylor oh. Swift released music on the oh, no. same day. I was just like, well, I guess I'll just be listening to my little song. I just put it on repeat and just keep listening. Yeah. See, like you never know. I would have done better with a Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, I, I didn't actually release anything. Um, 
that weekend that um, Kendrick and Drake were going back and forth, but that was my <laughs> first thought was like, you know how hurt I would have been <laughs> had I had a release that I was trying to promote? Like, nobody was paying attention. I mean, nobody. people who don't even listen to rap were like, yeah, so yeah, you got to do your own thing. And I was like, when that happens, I was like, I know where the numbers going on on this one, yeah. so I just embrace it, and I'm like, okay, it is. Good. And then and you know what? I take it all in as learning because, like I said, I'm still new to this. You know, so I do things, and I'm like, okay, won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you know, even in those instances, like, even if you had been doing this for much longer, there's no way you can plan for that, you know? So, no, no, you can't. Yeah, I think uh, right now, a lot of this game is pretty much trial and error. Like, you just got to see what happens and, you know, still have the patience because even if, you know, it's been released to you on this date, somebody who's going to find you later is going to be new to them. So, you know. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it didn't do the numbers you wanted it to when it first dropped, but there's no reason why it can't do it later. I mean, things like that happen all the time. Sure it does. And that's my thing. So the music might as well be there. No yeah. sense in holding on to it, right? You don't know when they're going to find it. Exactly. You know? So it's just, you just might as well release it, put it out there, and, and the people will get to it when they when they stop staring at all these other stars <laughs> that think they shine brighter than us. They'll get to us, you know? Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, you know, speaking of the music and, you know, it being there when you're ready to put it out, uh, can you let us know anything that you might have coming up in the works or that we should kind of be keeping our ears open for? Sure. I have a few things coming up. Um, I have uh, the, the remix to Feel the Music. So I had Feel the Music that just recently came out not too long ago, like a month, two months ago. Um, so the remix will be coming out this summer. Um I also have the collaboration, it's called Vibe and Flow with Trevor P that will also be coming out this summer. Um, that's, that's, I'm excited for that one because that's more of a, a jazz fusion hip hop kind of vibe. He's, mm -hmm. rapping on, he's rapping on it. So I'm really excited about that because I haven't done that yet. Um, and then I have uh, a book that I'm writing. I have a book that I'm writing and along with the book, it has its own soundtrack. Wow. So there will be an album that goes along with the book. Oh, that's incredible. Yes. <laughs> the, name the, the name of the book is called Casanova and Eve. And uh, the Ooh. book is about uh, two teenagers. And they, uh, they, they're, they're, you know, in the late teens where they're a couple, you know, they, you know, they fall in love with each other and they, vibe in all diff all all the ways you want to vibe with another person everything is perfect other than the, their dreams and their dreams set them far apart so mm -hmm. they don't know if they're going to keep on with their relationship um because it has them on two different parts of the world wow. um so it's 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 you know, it's a, it's a cool, it's a, it's a nice story and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited that I'm putting my own music to it. Um, I also get to implement my poetry in, in, you know, into the, into the story. So I'm really excited. So that's what I'll be doing for the remainder of 2024 and 2025. And in between that time, there will be releases from the album. Um, and with each release, you will get a part of the story. This way, by the time the album comes out, you'll want to read the story to know what connects all of these parts together. Oh, that's <laughs> phenomenal. So, so, so that's what I that that's that's what I'll be working on. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm so so excited to do it. I'm so, and that's one of the things that I I said. You know, they come to you. The idea comes yeah. to you, and it comes together. So I know it's going to be one of the hardest things that I'll work on um, doing this. But, it, you know, the ideas, it, it's just like fl flushing in so quickly. Wow. I can't even, it's very hard to keep up. I'm writing notes and writing things all over the place. <laughs> and it's just the way, you know, to, to, when I take my time to sit down and, and continue my writing, it just, it just flows so easily. It's one of those, that's what I talk about when I say, you know, when 
God blesses you with something and it's it's knocking on your your head. It, this, this idea was literally knocking on my forehead. And I'm like, why mm-hmm. I keep thinking about this? You know, <laughs> I never thought about anything like this before. Like, where is this coming from? And the fact that the whole idea has come together so easily, but it will be one of the hardest things that I enjoy working on has me so excited. Uh. That is phenomenal. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'm excited um, for everything that's coming up. And please, please don't hesitate to let me know um, if there's anything I could do for you here at Instrumental Intel to kind of help you um, as you promote what's going on. I, you know, I think that's a wonderful thing. And I'm, I'm truly excited for you and for everybody that gets to experience this. So yeah. congratulations to you. I'm hoping it'll be a whole, I want it to be a whole experience. I want, I want my followers and my listeners to travel with me through this experience. That's why I'm doing these releases this way. Um, Cause I want to, I want everyone to feel what I'm feeling. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's just like, as I'm doing this, it's, I want you to feel it and be excited for the next release for the next part of the story, you know? And then I want you to be really, be excited for the, for the album and for the book. You know, yeah. so uh, because that's what will tie everything together. So I'm hoping that, you know, all my followers and listeners will just just hop on this train with me and just to just enjoy the ride because it's going to be a great ride. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, real quick, you know, we still have a few minutes left. It's not really the closeout, but you know, for anybody that might be hopping off early or whatever the case may be, I want to make sure that they know uh, where to follow you. Um, so that way they can keep up with the rollout and everything else that you've got going on. Yes, I am. Um, well, you can uh, check out my website at uh, deepspawnlogic.com and uh, you will find the information, all of my information. I do not have information about the book as of yet, but that will be coming within the next couple of weeks. Um, you will be able to see that on my website. Um, you can find me on social media, on Facebook and on Instagram at deepspawnlogic. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. (laughs) Well, excellent. So I have so much stuff running through my brain. It's like, don't forget, don't forget. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty much it. I don't, you know, I try to keep all my information, uh, consolidated so you don't have to look for me all over the place. Right. So I, I have consolidated a lot and, you know, um, I, you know I, I do my Facebook and my website more so you'll get more information on me I'm trying to keep up with Instagram but them little kids don't like me <laughs> <laughs> young folks they are like nah, I'm just joking I, you know, I just I don't Instagram is just it's just a different platform for me so I'm, I'm still trying and I'm still pushing it I don't forget it but I do a lot I post a lot on Facebook and um, on my website. So any information you need, you can always go there and find it. Okay, awesome. So please, please make sure that you check her out, all those places that she said, follow her. And, you know, I hope I'm not uh, overstepping by asking you this <laughs> while we're recording but uh, yeah I would love to have you come back more frequently you know as oh, things roll out yeah, okay oh awesome. thank you <laughs> definitely I'm, look, I'm excited to tell anybody who I hear about <laughs> <laughs> great yes I think what you're doing is very needed um, I love your take on music like your perspective is fresh I feel like it's something that I haven't heard elsewhere and so I'm always gravitating towards that so yeah I love what you do and also how you support others um yeah you don't really (laughs) see that that often a lot of times when people are creative and they're busy doing their own thing it's a lot harder to promote other people but somehow you've still been juggling doing that and so yeah I also want to commend you for that as well so much I try I try because I you know people support me you know and and I just I feel like I came out of nowhere you know and I had people who who friended me and stood by me and pushed me and you know they you know they're 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 behind the confidence that I have today Mm -hmm. so if I can do that for someone else especially an independent music artist um I, I definitely I have no problem doing that well that's awesome all right well before we get ready to close out are there any uh shout outs that you want to give before we head out or any thoughts that you'd like to leave with the audience um i just want 
to give a shout out to, ev to everybody in my corner. Y'all know who you are. I don't have to mention any names. I love you. I appreciate you. All my followers, the people that listen to my music. I hope I give you everything that you need. And if I haven't yet, it's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. I, I, I do so much stuff and I have so many ideas. So if you look in there now, I'm sure you'll find something. You keep looking. There's a lot of stuff there. But if not, I have some great stuff coming. So just make sure you follow me on social media and just stay updated. And um, just to everybody else, I just say appreciate each day you get to open your eyes and be great in it. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your time and wisdom and your story. And I look forward to having you back again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right. And that does it for today's edition of Instrumental Intel. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank my home station, Grander Radio out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And of course, my guest, Deep Spawn Logic. It was great to have her on. So next week, I got another show lined up for you. This time, the special guest is actually my biological brother, Sean Don. So make sure that you tune in for that. We're going to be having music culture conversations and you definitely don't want to miss it. All right. So till next time, you know where to find me. Tune in. Tell a friend. I'll see you then. Peace.